So I guess we'll do what we do every day of our lives. We'll watch Boeing and we'll see if, if it makes any sense. I, I just, I, I don't know. I mean, part of me thinks we should do nothing today. I gotta be honest with you. Um, so what's wow? Is there something else I missed? <sighs> Again, as far as the market goes, I'm not changing my opinion. There's nothing to change. We're going to sell off again. This isn't correcting the uptrend, at least not in the SPY. The Qs have been in an uptrend. I looked at everything again this morning. Amazon and Apple are out Thursday night. They will definitely, definitely, definitely move the market. Um, so don't expect the market to do anything before those big earnings happen anyways. In other words, if the market's going to do something critical, it would probably be Thursday night into Friday at this point now, unless something comes out of the blue. Uh, what would that be? Anything, anything at all. We live in a crazy time and we're, we're selling off on every gap up. We don't follow through with the rallies, right? Um, if we gap down one day, it lasts for a day, that's it. So, I mean, we have to capture the moves and books, profits and the things when we get them because this market is still very volatile. So we were up more, we're selling off right now before the open, look at this. It's, we were at 286 here in the SPY. So we're gonna, we're gonna sell off. But I guess we'll watch this just for so. I know it's gonna go. I said it every day in the last month. <laughs> Look at that volume though. 29 seconds into the open and look at the volume in Boeing. I mean, that's pretty crazy, isn't it? Like this is just, this isn't doing anything here. This is not like news or earnings. It's just like, look at that volume. 40 seconds into the open. Look at that people. This is, this is definitely on the move. So for those of you in the options, you gotta be just a baby patient. Let's look at the market. It's this is really I have nothing new to say about this. You're probably all tired of hearing me talk about it. Nothing different in the market today than Friday or Thursday or Tuesday or Wednesday. Hey, I, I just Don't know how aggressive we should be here. Where's it gonna go? I am going to watch this, not be aggressive, and if we miss it, we miss it. Yep, look at this, this isn't right here. This should not look like this here. All right. I mean, I just can't believe we're doing this every day. It's, it's really hysterical, actually. Stop's going to be 130.35. Let's do 99 by 35. Oh, crap. It just went. Oh, no, I didn't even get it. Look at that. Nope. <laughs> I don't know if anyone got it. I just said 99 by 35. Here, it's backing up. Here, it's backing up. Here, hold on. We could still do 99 by 35. Did anyone even get that? Here, do it, do it. If you don't do it now, you're not gonna get it. 99 by 35 is valid, it just hit again. Make sure the stop's in at 35. 130, 35 is the stop for Boeing. And I think we're gonna be okay with that, but I'm gonna watch this like a hawk for a little bit. Target in this is, there's ridiculous targets in this. If you got it, you gotta, you gotta get it now. Can't 
believe we're doing this again. 127, 126, 125, 120. Here it goes, Boeing. Boeing, Boeing, Boeing. And we probably could have gotten in a dollar earlier. I just wanted to wait for the confirmation. And then we almost missed it because it hit so hard. And now here's a right away. Here's going to break 127. Here it goes. Here it goes. Let it break. Let it break. Let's see if we can get this down to 125 here by 945, 940. Definitely by 10 o'clock, this will hit through 125, I think. But you could scale out of a little teeny beeny little bit, a bit of that if you want to. Oh, you know what I forgot to check out this morning? The banks. That's what I forgot to do. This may rally today because it's on support. It's not going to last. Again, Apple's out Thursday night. That, the most interesting earnings right now this week is really Apple. I mean, Amazon, it's neither here nor there. Um, but this is one of the most interesting, simply because it's tied so tightly to China. Um, this is, uh, this is, I didn't even look at this. This is down today. Oh, we're not doing anything with that, but. All right. You could have scaled out of some here. 66 it hit. Let's watch through a break of 126 and maybe we just take it out in a flush. Let me look and see why Apple was down this morning quickly. I have the screen off for a minute. Amazon is accelerating. Why? That's odd. It's the strongest stock in the market right now and you can't, no matter what that does, I'm not gonna change my mind about that even. Here goes, Boeing. Apple demand outlook is uncertain. Boop, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. No June quarter guidance. All right, well, that's probably why it's down. All right. Here we go. BA, BA, Boeing, 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 Boeing. So I wasn't going to do anything today. The setup, we did it. I was conservative on the entry. It worked out. If you're in it, you're in it. You can get out of it here. You can hold it down, whatever you want to do. This is a really nice call. All these puts are going to work. And actually, if you held the puts that expired on Friday, not all of them, but most of them, almost all of them, almost every single one went green, which was completely insane. I'm talking about the very, very, very old ones, which a lot of you killed. If you can even believe it, that's how solid that was of a call. Now let's just see here if this is going to break 126. Time of the day is 936. We're looking for a sell off for four more minutes, three more minutes. Let's see if we can get it. Here we go, under 126. Here we go. Here we go. Here. Here, just broke 126. Here, we're going to get this down and we're going to have a quick fast. Here, yay. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, you could be out if you want. You could be out if you want or you can have your hand on the button here to watch it. Or you could be out. Actually, let me just look at the market really quickly. No, Boeing is on its own, but I don't think the market goes anywhere today. Apple was down. This is going nowhere. Netflix it has it's not going anywhere either. Okay. Again, you could be out of this Boeing if you want, or you have your hand to the button for one more push. And then that's it. Our Monday's over. We're back in a normal situation here for fast trades, which I'm very happy about, which I did say on Friday. Here we go. 57. Again, you could be out of this. This is so much lower, though. This is so much lower. And today is the day it probably breaks that area you've been watching. But you could be out of this here for the day trade here. A great read on this.
Did anyone get out of it there? I think we have one more push. But I think we have one more push, but you could be out of it. Did they do a press con a press briefing over the weekend? Because I didn't. If they did, I missed it. And I've been watching them all. Did they do a White House press briefing over the weekend? If they did, I missed it. I didn't see one Saturday or Sunday. So I'm thinking they didn't do one. Does anyone know? Did they or didn't they? I don't think they did. I don't think they did. Saturday morning they had one? Oh, I totally didn't see that at all. Saturday morning they had a briefing, Jackie? Because I didn't see that anywhere. I guess I'll have to Google it. Oh, no. Saturday lunch? No, I didn't see it then at all. Zen Trader, I'm not getting into political arguments with you or discussions. Can't do it. All right, here we go. Under 126. Here we go. Under 126. Here we go. This is it for the day trade soon when it breaks the low. I think it was 56 or 57. 57. This is a nice call. I did Zoom for the first time last night with my family. <sighs> go such a nice read on this we've been, we, we've been waiting for this for so long we don't have to wait any longer here it goes today so for those of you that are in the options trains on Colin and Boeing you must watch this today like a hawk here we go here we go here we go down to 125 and you must watch them like a hawk today because this could fall off a cliff in a millisecond Kind of like the market did last week that one day, remember? Here we go. Let's try to hold Boeing down to 125. I'm talking about the day trade. Here we go. We're going to get it. This is a nice call. We could have done this even a dollar earlier. It was very conservative today. Just let it sell off, sell off, sell off, sell off, sell off. Just let it sell right off. Yay. What a nice start to the week. Yay. Here we go. We're going to break 125. Try to hold it, but you could be out here if you want. This is not going to back up, though, at all. Let's take a look over here. Over here. And this here. It's funny, I think the only reason the market is even hold, trying to hold on at all is because the banks, which is funny, even though these are not going to go anywhere up either. All right, did anyone get out of this? We got 15 cents, 13 cents from the number. I said 945. Let's not be piggers. I just think this has a little bit more in it. Teeny weeny 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 bit. Jack, you did a great job holding this last week. One of the days, whatever, was that Friday or I don't even remember. One of the days you did a great job holding it. Funny, I thought this was going to break late Friday. It, it just ran out of time. <laughs> this, I, I, I had emailed out a second trade Friday, like it completely ran out of seconds. <laughs> I thought it was going to be another day like earlier in the week. Things fell into the close. All right, Bowen, you could take. You could get out of it here for the day trade. Again, I'd let the puts ride. Make make the most out of these puts if you can. Just give me a little bit more. 
wiggly jiggly. And then we'll look at what's out for tonight. See if there's anything we could wrap our heads around for tomorrow. I'm going to look at that right now. Let's see what's out for tonight. FFIV. Here goes Boeing. Here we go. PPG. There's a lot out tonight. Nothing that like immediately stands out for me. Oh five. Here we go, Boeing. in a nice trade. It's going to break 125 if you're still in it. Come on. Come on. Here it goes. Here it goes. The market's going. Oh, I'm, I'm so shocked. I'm so surprised that the market isn't rallying. Here we go. Boeing. Yeah. Wow. Look at how that just broke through that 125. Oh, out, out, out. Again, hold the puts if you want. Make sure you book money in the day trade. Look at how that broke so fast like that through the number. Here, it's almost down at 124. Here, again, if you're in the day trade, make sure you book profits in this. That was a nice, nice, great call. But the puts, I'd let those puppies ride. Don't be picky about it. Just know that this is going to sell off all day. So this is going to sell off all day. Just know that. So you gotta watch. You gotta watch these today. Here, look at this. Great call. Great, great, great call. And great read here on the market too, because the market's not gonna go anywhere. So every rally is getting sold off. All right. I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow. I have no idea, and I'm not gonna worry about it now because I look at things sometimes at night and they change in the morning. I look at things in the morning and they change at night. So who knows? I'll take it day by day and I'll read it live, and I'm doing a good job doing that. Here, this just broke 124. Look at that. Woo! Is anyone still in the day trade? That broke 125 so quickly, so fast. It broke it like 55 cents. It went poof, and it was done like that. Boom. $1,000 Monday for Jackie. Great way to start the weekend. We're back on track here for a fast, fast, fast trade. Week in the short.